In our work, gun-based augmentation of mammograms to improve breast lesion detection, we examine the usage of cycle guns for the augmentation of medical imaging data such as mammography. This research was conducted at Pattern Recognition Lab of FAU with data acquired by the Women's Hospital of the University Clinic in Erna. Please feel free to contact me via email in case you have any questions regarding code or method. Initially, we were provided a data set consisting of mammography samples acquired with devices of various manufacturers, which are responsible for visually apparent inter-device variants we observed in the initial data. The UKE data consisted of CC and MLO mammography samples of 277 patients along with their individual binary labels. We were able to subdivide the images into three subdomains, namely dark, bright and normal, according to their acquisition device. We observed that the initial binary classification is significantly worsened when we train a classifier with UKE samples from all domains versus when we train it using data from only the normal domain. This behavior is attributed to the lower amount of samples in both dark and bright domains. This observation led us to the idea of first training a cycle gun with modifications in the loss function on the translation between UKE domains and secondly extracting cycle gun generators for the augmentation of Fiolo training data in another step. In our final experiments, we use the Yolo V5 implementation to evaluate the performance of our augmentation approach. We tested the augmentation approach on the training data of Yolo, augmenting it with various modified versions of a unit generator. In baseline, YOLO was trained with 72 inverse samples. When augmented, it was trained on 72 inverse samples translated to the various UKE domains. Finally, all unit generators used for the augmentation of YOLO training data were compared to the baseline. The augmentation approach improves the mean average precision significantly, in particular for the unit models trained with adversarial cyclic and the unit models trained with adversarial cyclic and geometry loss. Therefore, it also seems to improve both precision and recall. Thank you for your attention.